the enlightened understanding of sustainability leads us to do the right things in the long-term pursuit of profit and sustainable profit. Comments about, I won't leave the dance floor until the band starts playing or leave. As a Scot, I believe in Adam Smith, the man that talked profit. Adam Smith talked about the invisible hand. Adam Smith said, it is not by the benevolence of the baker, the brewer, and the butcher that we get our dinner, but by their own self-interest. I would say by their profit motive, guiding them in the right way. Thank you. Jeff Riddell, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, who's gonna get us started here? It, it seems that profit is definitely the goal. And I think in the end, if you get profit, obviously you win. But how do you get there without purpose and passion as, as the key drivers? I mean, it seems like you have to chicken and egg. I think purpose and passion come first and, and profit naturally falls behind that. I think uh, if you don't have a purpose, you don't start doing anything. So definitionally, you might say purpose comes first, but I wouldn't say it's most important. I think the profit motive is what drives you to outperform. It's what leads us to improve standards across the world. What we have to watch for is the misguided application of the profit motive, which is why I said sustainability. You can look after your customers well, but you have to be aware of the competitive side, which is competition and profit are kissing cousins to my mind. If your customer service isn't as good as, maybe very good, but if it's not as good as somebody else's, if it's more expensive than somebody else's, or it's not as appropriately relevant, you won't get the business and you won't make money. And I think it is that understanding of the profit motive that allows you to steer the ship properly and why I think it's the most important of the four Ps. Okay, uh, gentlemen uh, at the back there. Uh, I think profit is a means to an end. And I'm a big believer in, in purpose, but obviously profit as a means to an end. It is important to see where you put profit in the equation. I don't think profit is a result of the equation. Profit is a restriction of the equation. And that makes a huge difference. No question profit is important. In the case of microfinance, we have 700 million clients around the world. We have a billion to go. We need more than $500 billion of funding to get them. And the only way we're going to get it if we're, if we're profitable. But the purpose is to bring financial services to the majority because it's a means for them to bring themselves out of poverty. So profit is a means to an end. Okay, thank you very much for the comments. Yeah. I have the same uh, opinion of the gentleman there, uh, where profit leads to an end. Uh, usually what we see that young entrepreneurs, when they uh, look through for uh, new spin of companies or new business, they look for fast money, but the faster, the fast it will die and it will end very fast. Uh, gentleman there in the front. Uh, it seems like it begins with uh, purpose. I think purpose, uh, leads to passion because uh, and then passion leads to profit and then profit leads to power it seems like that that's kind of the natural evolutionary route it might be bypassed in different ways but that seems to be the way it it seems logical to oh, me okay i'm running a chain of independence for profit schools with about 10,000 students in no way manner or form do i motivate the teachers by giving them bonuses financial rewards the goal is to provide the best possible education. We offer profit, yes. Profit is a restriction. If you don't make 5% of the bottom line, you won't be able to invest in the future. Okay. So I concur with a purpose goal. Okay, we've got a lot of hands up. Now I want to get as many people in as possible. You know, what you do with that profit is what's key. Do you pour it back into your employees? Do you reward and recognize value generation? If, do you make sure that how much is enough? Do you really pour it back into the working mechanisms and pa back into the mission and the purpose? So that, that's a key f uh, factor, and I think profit rises to the top, but depending on what you do with that. Okay, thank you. You have to start a company with a vision, so I would agree with the purpose piece. And if you have the right tools in terms of managing that company, serving your clients, you've got to have a very strong purpose to deliver your services, we are in the design services business. And if you manage that well, the byproduct is going to be money. And power will come from that. So that's the philosophy that I practice. Okay, thank you very much for sharing that with us. Yep. I think we should replace profit with sustainability. 
Because once you have sustainability, then it can be broader enough to cover the environment and the community. And then you can have the purpose, the passion and the power to ensure that you lead to sustainability. Thank you very much for making that point. John, you just wanted to say something quickly. Anybody else on our panel before I come to you, Jeff, to wrap up? Education and profit. In the, in the U.S., kids are dropping out of high school 30%, all kids. It's, it's horrible. But in the urban inner cities, 50 to 75%. I think these kids are dropping out of high school because they don't believe education is relevant to their future. The way you make it relevant to their future is to show them how to get rich legally. That's financial literacy, civil rights, free enterprise and capitalism, ownership, and entrepreneurship. Nobody gets up in the morning and says, ooh, I want a mortgage. They, they want to become a homeowner. You know, nobody wants an education unless you're an academic. You want what it can give you. It's aspirational. We forget we're dealing with people. So it's not about institutions or governments or companies. It's people. And if you can get people who have a purpose in their life, they're passionate about who they are, they know who they are, that passion will inform their values. Those values will inform their purpose. That purpose will speak to, to doing something that has an impact, will create a profit, and that profit will generate power. Jeff. <laughs> Let me, Passion uh, personified. Let me get you some, <laughs> some final thoughts on, uh, on profit. I think profit, as I say, is I think it's the, the radar that you guide with. It's what brings sustainability. How we measure profit could be subject to debate because I think you can bring in some of the use of resources that are shared into the profit measure to manage sustainability in a different way. I'm in the insurance business. We look at enterprise risk management. That's the tool to bring long-term sustainability to corporations so that you don't let short-termism kill you. So it's the long-term view, it's not short-termism, and it's the radar to drive a business in the right way, not ignoring passion, not ignoring power, not ignoring purpose, but it's the key to guide us. Thank you very much for that. This is the point where I ask you all to cast your vote now on which of our speakers do you think has argued